your doctor has recommended you consider genetic testing. This type of testing can provide major advantages to your treatment, including a better understanding of why your cancer developed, improved knowledge of how to guide your treatment, identification of possible future cancer risks, provide information on risks for your family members. Our genetic information, also known as DNA, is located in every cell of our body and is packaged into genes. Each gene has a specific job in our bodies, such as helping to control cell growth. We have two copies of each gene, one from our mother and one from our father. A mutation or error in a gene may lead to the formation of a cancer. Most cancers are random, also called sporadic, or may be caused by multiple factors, such as aging and environmental exposures. Only 5 to 10% of all cancers are due to hereditary factors via mutations in genes passed on from parent to child. These mutations are inherited equally among males and females alike and influence cancer risks. This risk is not 100% and some people who have the gene mutations never develop cancer. The most common hereditary cause for breast and ovarian cancers are mutations in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. Mutations in these genes increase the risk of both men and women to develop certain types of cancer. Women have an increased risk for breast and ovarian cancer, while men have an increased risk for breast and prostate cancers. Both men and women may also have a higher risk for other cancers, such as melanoma, pancreatic, and colon cancer. There are specific recommendations for individuals with BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene mutations for screening and risk reduction. So it is important to know if you have a mutation in one of these genes. Additionally, there may be specific treatments your doctor will prescribe to treat a cancer if it is caused by a BRCA1 and 2 gene mutation. Another condition associated with hereditary cancer risk is called Lynch syndrome, also known as HNPCC caused by a mutation in one of the mismatch repair genes. Men and women with Lynch syndrome have a higher risk of developing colon cancer, as well as cancers in the stomach, pancreas, kidneys, and other locations. Additionally, women also have a higher risk for uterine and ovarian cancers, and may also have higher risk to develop breast cancer. Just like with individuals who have BRCA1 and 2 gene mutations, there are specific recommendations for screening and risk reduction for individuals with Lynch syndrome. So it is important to know if you have a mutation in one of these genes. Additionally, there may be specific treatments your doctor will prescribe to treat a cancer if it is caused by a mismatch repair gene mutation. In addition to BRCA1 and 2 and Lynch syndrome, there are many other genes and conditions that can cause hereditary risk for cancer in families. Instead of testing for a single condition or a gene at a time, tests can be performed by a panel. Panels test more than one gene or condition at the same time. These panels can test many genes related to cancer risk or may test just a few. Some panels only test genes that guide treatment or additional health screenings, and other larger panels may also include testing genes that are not yet fully understood. There is no standard for who should have a panel test or which panel to have. Your doctor will discuss with you which genes you should consider testing for, the associated cancer risk and management options, and help you determine which panel options are best for you. The genetic testing process consists of watching this video, answering any questions you may have, signing a consent form and the lab test request form, and then having your blood drawn. Alternatively, you may request to meet with one of our genetic counselors to further discuss the impact of genetic testing for you and your family before deciding to proceed. Genetic test results can take approximately three weeks to come back to your doctor. Remember, genetic testing is voluntary. If you are not interested in pursuing genetic testing at this time, you can discuss it further with your doctor or again, request to meet with a genetic counselor for further discussion. Genetic testing is typically covered by insurance when people meet certain criteria 
and when test results will have an impact on your medical care. The laboratory performing the test will help verify your insurance coverage. If you are expected to have to pay more than $100 out of pocket for your testing, the lab will contact you directly to discuss this, including discounted rates and payment plan options. Please ask your doctor for a brochure from the laboratory for more details. You and your doctor will make a plan of how to receive your genetic test results. You may get a phone call from your doctor's office or one of our genetic counselors. Schedule an appointment to meet with your doctor in person. Schedule an appointment to meet with your genetic counselor in person. It is important to have a conversation with your doctor or your genetic counselor about your test result, as this information means different things for you and your family. Your test result provides medical management information. However, it may also cause feelings of anxiety and guilt. There are three possible results when having genetic testing. Positive, negative, variant of unknown significance, the US. A positive test result means that a mutation was found in one of the genes tested. There may be certain screenings or interventions your doctor recommends. If you are currently being treated for cancer, you may be a candidate for certain targeted treatment approaches, like we discussed earlier. Your doctor will discuss these options with you. This is also important information for your family. Again, we have two copies of every gene, and it is random which copy is passed from parent to each of their children. Therefore, each of your brothers, sisters, and children have a 50% chance of also having the same genetic change. We cannot control what genetic information we inherited from our parents, nor what our children inherit from us. If a relative tests positive for a mutation, there are specific medical management recommendations for screening and risk reduction. A negative test result means that no mutation was found. Targeted treatments may still be an option for some patients, but it involves further testing on a sample of the cancer. Your doctor will discuss if additional testing is indicated for you. If you have negative genetic testing, testing of these genes is not indicated for your children. However, Testing for other family members may still be indicated based on their personal and family history of cancer. A genetic counselor can perform a risk assessment based on your family history and make recommendations. Remember, a negative genetic test result doesn't mean you or your family are not at an increased risk for cancer. It may simply mean that we don't have the right testing available yet to identify the possible genetic cause for cancer in your family. With a negative genetic test result, you and your family's cancer screening should be based on your personal and or family history of cancer. While most of the time testing gives a clear positive or negative result, sometimes results are inconclusive. This result is called a variant of unknown significance. A variant is simply a change found in one of the genes tested, but the impact is not yet understood. Currently, there isn't enough known about this exact change to determine if it is a mutation associated with cancer risk or a benign change that is not. Variants are treated as a negative result until more information about the exact change is found. When the laboratory collects enough data about the variant, they send your doctor notice of this updated information, which will then be sent to you. Most variants are ultimately found to be benign changes. Anyone can be found to have a variant, or more than one variant, when they have genetic testing. Medical management should not be altered based on the finding of a variant, and in most cases, other family members are not recommended to have testing for a variant. When considering genetic testing, it's important to know your legal protections. HIPAA is a law that protects your medical information from being shared. Your genetic information is held at an even higher level of protection than your other medical records meaning only those doctors who need the information for your care know, but the access to this information is not freely shared. The Genetics Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2008, also known as GINA, guarantees you receive the same health insurance coverage for the same cost as everyone at your place of employment if you have group health insurance. There are some exceptions, so please ask your doctor if you have questions. Be aware that other coverage, such as individual health insurance, life insurance, 
long-term care insurance and disability insurance have no limits on what they can ask you on your application or how much you will be charged. Getting a genetic test result just like changes in your health does not impact existing policies already in place. Again, it is important that you share your genetic test result, whether positive or negative, with your family members. This will help refine their cancer risk and help their doctors make suggestions for their medical management. The goal is early detection and prevention of cancers. If you still have questions and are not ready to have genetic testing today, please let your doctor know. They will refer you to one of our genetic counselors for further discussion.